Hello everybody, Swift here again, and today we're playing Heretics Fork again, the roguelike bullet heaven bullet hell tower defense card game with a story that is unfolding. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna play a different character, we're gonna play normal mode again. For now, I'm still going through all the characters. Maybe I should do an endless run too, but not today. If the game goes on and people really enjoy this, after I'm done with all the characters at least once, we're gonna go into endless, or maybe even I will go into that. Ah, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. So, for today, I'm gonna play the other character I already played before, and then after that, I'm gonna start exploring alongside you guys. So, uh, let's go with John Fenris, the locksmith. Can lock sacrifice slots at the cost of the mana, preventing the cards from being discarded between rounds. And he starts with three structure slots, so that alone makes him already more powerful because that means you can have more towers let's get into this hopefully i'm gonna create and uh, get the dark tower today i don't think it's called dark tower but it, there is like a tower that's completely and utterly busted uh, i'm not gonna play any tier ones i never played tier ones so let's just see what we're gonna get as tier two i do know that we have two snipers here and we could just get a level up sniper but no, no, no we're gonna go here for maybe a good tower also there are barracks in the game in general garrisons as the game calls them maybe i'm gonna do a garrison run at some point but we're gonna continue with towers for now let's see what i can get unholy is here I'm gonna take this in the assumption that I will be able to get on Holy Run going. And we did not. We go Hellfire. It deals AoE Hellfire damage in a line extending from the tower. I have never ever had this. So I could play this. I wanted to do the God Run with the Holy. But honestly, I can do that tomorrow where I'm maybe gonna have a different character. Let's see what this is going to be. Actually, I could skip ahead into a higher tier tower. Now let's go and see what this does. Wow, that's weird. Uh, increase on Holy damage. I mean, might as well. But it's not set in stone that we're gonna be this Hellfire tower. So, might as well play this too. Although, what is the deck? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna send this in here and lock it down instead of playing it. I'm gonna go Hellfire. <laughs> I'm already invested into it, I would say. Wow, what a, what a weird tower. Let's play the game at times to speed, of course. Oh, it's an explosion tower. What does it gain? Damage. This does not look like a good tower to me. <laughs> uh, can it gain from attack speed? It can get attack speed. So, this tower guaranteed needs attack speed. Uh, losing life in the beginning doesn't really matter. So now we have this here, which we could use to combine with other stuff. This gains AoE, I would assume. Yeah, AoE. Projectiles. Okay, damage. AoE and attack speed. So we have AoE here. Range. Is range a thing? It also gets range. So I guess I'm not going to get the damage, obviously. Let's put this in there and upgrade these into something higher. We found another Dark Pike. Nice. I'm going to take it then. I'll take the next Dark Pike. Uh, well, if that's the case, then also let's combine those and see what we get. 50% unholy damage would be nice if we would be an unholy build now, wouldn't it? I guess hellfire damage is obviously what we're gonna go for. And let's play this for two mana. And let's play this for three mana to get the hellfire damage. And the rock is useless. I'm gonna actually banish it, not even lock it down. Let's actually no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I should have locked it so that I had one more card next turn. I start realizing how you're supposed to play this character. So now we've got two towers which are targeting the same thing. Okay, I think they desynced. As long as they desync, they're not gonna be hitting the same thing. So that is what we want. Obviously, attack speed is really, really important with this tower because, as you see, it fires very rarely. <laughs> and AoE seems also to be the case that's needed. Let's send these off. See what we get. Holy tower, no tower range. I'm going to get the tower range. And then we're going to also send these off. And um, create a mob. I don't care about... I want only specifically the towers we have or in general just to go Hellfire build. So here, somebody called me a trick. It showed me a trick in my Discord, so I'm gonna choose whatever, it doesn't matter, but the trick is the following. First of all, play this. You can leave things here, and I guess it's a bug right now, because this does not make sense as a feature. It's gonna stay there, and we're gonna get another card next turn. Yep. So that, that's definitely, in my mind, it's a bug. This this is gonna guaranteed get fixed at some point, or an exploit, or whatever you wanna call it. I have HP regen? From, since when do I have HP regen? I didn't know the game starts you with some HP regen. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Opponents are even surviving here. These exploded towers are weird, but I like them. Let's see what we find. Uh, choose, add one card to the deck. Normally you get three choices here. Why did I get four? Something is off. Every time a card is banished, gain five coins. This is an item that you can play again and again and again. And then every time I banish something, we're going to be getting richer and richer. This is going to make my shopping zone better. I, I'm, we're going to go this. Let's go with a shopping idea. Become a powerful shopper. So I'm going to play this now. Yes, and now forever, every time I banish a card, we're gonna gain money. Uh, this is Hellfire, which we are, so let's send these and see what we get. Deplete your shield, which I don't have, and uh, no, that's useless. Hellfire damage that does straight in a straight line. I'm gonna take this, so we are gonna be able to at least use, you know, something. So uh, let's go here. Boom. This is a tower that does not get 
these stats so it does not get you know range projectiles and whatnot it only gets damage and range but still it's it's a constant damaging stream of damage so that's the idea here and i'm gonna obviously play the hellfire here for free and i guess i should banish that for money no keep it in the deck it's gonna combine with something else later so now we have consistent damage it's it's low it's like five but it, it helps out because we already have issues with coverage the explosions do a lot of damage well this does only five so let's go sundry damage here. And uh, the ships are incoming. It's only one, I guess. We found our dark pike and we found some thingies here to combine. Let's combine these rocks and see what we get. What is this? A gunk aura. Slowing all enemies that enter persist for 60 seconds. This is a spell. I think I want this. I think I want this. So let's play the spell so we have it. Let's lock it so it auto casts. And then uh, we're obviously going to play the hellfire to upgrade it. I'm gonna also play the AoE for those thingy, for those two towers we're using. Or I could have locked their stone. Maybe I should start using the locking a lot more often. Like, I could have locked that stone, so that would mean as if I'm drawing another card next turn. That would be, like, the purpose of that. And we're gonna get hit here heavily from the elite. It is what it is. <laughs> the towers decide to attack whatever the towers decide to attack. Hellfire damage definitely gonna join us. Attack speed's also gonna join. Let's go here and here. Okay, for another Hellfire tower, we're gonna take this guaranteed. And I'm gonna say... We, we send the Sundry Tower, forget this existing. We're going for specifically the build we already are. And here, this time, I'm not going to actually do the mistake. We're going to lock this down so I have one more card next turn. I'm going to start using that. So now we're going to go full on Dark Pike Towers, which means I definitely need attack speed. Like, I definitely need attack speed. We need these things to be like tut, 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 looking around and all the time doing the explosions. We don't want these things to, um, to go slowly. And we also want AoE. Like, attack speed and AoE, I think, is the main benefit and obviously damage what is this why why are there like these things here is this gonna die are we gonna get a single kill nope we're gonna get damaged heavily maybe maybe this one got it things are happening on the ground reveal three cards a uh, four card no i'm gonna get it actually all of these are whatever destroy garrisons increase tower damage by 50 percent all, all of these are useless just add tier twos in the deck so we can combine some stuff i just realized it's the gunk the slow this here on the ground is the gunk we're gonna go luck 20% luck increases your chance to get higher quality cards whenever drawing cards from your collection I mean it doesn't even say what cards is 20 luck higher guard from your collection I guess it means from the unlock that's what it means with collection okay these two definitely are gonna combine let's just throw the rock out let's see what we get here okay we found the tower I actually won in the beginning transform all rock cards currently in the deck and discard pile into slap cards Slap cards are tier 2 cards, so this is make all your tier 1s into tier 2s. This is actually good. Or cooldown. Now who cares about cooldown? Let's go with Slapper. This sounds good. I mean, if I play this right now, Transformer are currently cards in the deck and discard pile. Will, will it work on these? I would like to know if it works on my hand cards. That's a good question. Well, it doesn't. But yeah, see, Slaps are tier 2s. So I just got a bunch of tier 2s for free. Instead of needing to. Yeah, that's actually a good card to skip some levels. AoE, I like that. And we have AoE and tower range. I think we're gonna go with AoE and keep the tower range in check. So let's go AoE and send this to keep it for the next round. And end the turn. I haven't banished a single card from when I got the gain money from banishing, but whatever. I want to get huge AoE on this. That's what I'm thinking about. I would like this to be like boom, 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 boom. Uh, we are losing life. Yeah, okay, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, in my opinion. Okay, we got insurance again. Uh, first of all, let's get this out. Let's combine two slaps. As far as I know, this does not upgrade into anything. If a tower card exists in the deck, replace it with a shooter garrison card. No. Holy damage. No, all of these are useless. I would say let's combine these two. And we found attack speed. Very nice. This definitely stays. I would say let's combine these two to see what we can find. Damage. Draw two cards. I do enjoy the draw two cards in general. Worst towers have a high... No, no, no we're going to go with the draw two cards. And I'm going to play the draw two cards. Another slaps here. Hellfire damage and attack speed, but we can't really play both. This is deal 200 hold damage to all enemies on the map. That's actually decent. Let's go attack speed. Uh, let's slap, actually. Yep, everything instantly died. And let's uh, lock this down. And turn. Oh, so you can do a slap build. I don't think how good it's going to be, though. We definitely want AoE and attack speed, though. Definitely want some AoE. Definitely want some AoE. And attack speed, and range. Attack speed, AoE, range, and damage. These four, obviously, which are the four that it can get. I don't care about projectiles. <laughs> Pike is here. 
slab is here. Okay, obviously this is gonna go out. I'm gonna just play a bunch of pikes. So we're gonna go... First of all, let's combine the thunder. Let's see what we find. Nope. Range. I guess range forcefully here. Let's go with pike. Combine these. Another pike. What does it gain on level up damage? Oh, it scales good. 2, 5, 10, 20. That's actually really good. Normally it's 2, 4, uh, 8, 16. So this scales better than the norm. And uh, obviously we're gonna go with lock both in. Or just combine them. Combine them because that's how I play this game. And we found another dark pike. Very nice. Grab tower pulls in. No fork, no. Let's go grab it here. And uh, I'm gonna leave, leave it there. Although I could lock it in the bottom, but it's the same thing. I'm using the bug so that the devs are going to see it and most likely nerf it and remove it from the game completely. I'm gonna keep that purple thing forever if I can do so. And we just got hit very heavily. We need healing right this moment. We need some kind of healing ability. We need to find it randomly, that is, because there is no other way of finding healing in this game. Level 4. Every time you play a card this round, deals 20 unholy damage to all enemies. No, I don't need it for that aspect. I need it for the rarity aspect. Because it's a tier 4. And now I can combine this with the tower I just got. Although I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Honestly speaking, I don't think I wanted to combine it with the tower. Because it's, we're gonna get a random thing. So, uh, every time you play a card this round. This is 1 mana. This is 2 mana, but I don't want to play it. Well, guaranteed combine these. Unholy crit. I'm not unholy. I'm a hellfire. Let's get that. And uh, combine the cards. Nah. Most likely play this and this. And just everything that on the board. I, I want to lock this actually down. Then I want to lock this down too. So in this vein I should play these two and then lock the rest. Although the tier 4 is not. Maybe I could combine the tier 4 with this. Or maybe some tier 3s. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do this. Uh, let's... Because I want to combine this with something, right? So, let's play this. Should I just get the tier 4 now and be done with it? I think I should just start getting stuff going. Yeah. Let's play this and lock both of these. Lock this and lock that. And go. And we still have the towers that we want to play anyway. We are still losing life, but it's okay. We're gonna get some healing at some point. Towers are very weird. These towers are not really that good for this. But it's okay. Don't panic, 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 panic. Oh, we got the slap. I can survive. Although, if I play the slap, then I'm not gonna combine. This is super dangerous. We're gonna lose the game. It doesn't matter if we lose. Oh. 30% damage. This is what matters. When you use a card, you have 10% chance to draw a card. This is godlike, but this is damage and it's really powerful. So I'm going to take this and put it in the deck. And we're going to say attack speed and damage. And uh, I guess play rock. And hopefully we're going to survive this wave. We have 20 life. And 21. <laughs> this is the wave that... Okay, <laughs> imagine if we lost on this wave. This wave we should definitely not lose. This is like a wave that nobody loses from. Other than these towers. <laughs> we need the AoE that I literally threw out of the deck. Ah, here it is, AoE. So, first of all, combine and play. And then also play the AoE. And let's draw two cards. And combine some rocks. Find Hellfire damage. We're gonna leave that there. For the bug. And I would say we even play this. And we pass. We pass. We pass. And let's see if we can defeat the bosses. If we cannot defeat the bosses, then there is no hope here. At least, I mean, the towers seem to be doing a lot of damage. So bosses should be a joke. Yep, bosses are a joke. Yeah, at, le at least bosses are a joke. We have issues with fighting too many opponents. Always the three middle ones. Same thing. Uh, it doesn't matter what I get. Active. We're pulling, right there. We're pulling, pulling enemies towards the center. Why? Unholy garrison. Extra slot, I guess. Some more towers. Maybe the pulse happens somewhere else and it means that it pulls them away. Maybe that's what that spell actually means. Attack speed and the tower I'm already using. Yes. Combine those, obviously. Get this out, please. Uh, these are useless. I'm gonna say we're gonna upgrade these. Uh, draw the next card, it's free. I do enjoy this. Let's go with the card, the tower, and let's go with attack speed. And this can just get locked. I could have left it at the top, by the way. Okay. So I have the spell that says pull opponents towards the middle. I'm gonna take that. Just in case it actually means that, for, for example, a circle appears here and it pulls them all in. Because if that's the case, obviously it's really good for us because we are super AoE. We need range though. 
We uh, we definitely need range. We need to tackle punch from further out, away. We got some tier fours here. I don't want to play this really. Um, I can leave that there. Let's go tower upgrade and AOE. Is damage also? Oh, we have an issue with damage, but AOE is also an issue. We have a lot of issues. I could play the free card. Do we have how many rocks? Okay, maybe this might appear. So it's a bit hard as to what to play. I guess I'm gonna play one, two, and then lock and lock. Maybe because I want to combine this with something. I, I know that these two can combine, but that's not the plan here. And let's go. So once again, we need pretty much all the stats. Attack speed, range, AoE, damage. I mean, if I get attack speed and AoE, damage might fall behind a bit. Because obviously those two are gonna help with DPS. I'm gonna play this and hope it's good. I've never used this. Ah, it is. It does pull them in one zone. Okay, so this is, this is actually good for us. Let's uh, take these out. Bring these in. Holy damage, slapper, no. Glass cannon, I guess. Doesn't matter because we're gonna combine them. The divine increased tower damage by 3%, but carries you lose. Oh, this is actually good. 3% damage, straight up. No downside. I take this. This and this is the same thing. So I would say we play it both. Boom, boom. So we got a bunch of damage right here. I cannot lock this down. We don't have mana. It is what it is. Would be nice if this character could have just had the lock. No downside. And this is the point where we die, unless we survive. Unbelievable, am I right? Oh, well, we did actually survive. Wow. This starts working. Attack speed starts working, man. We are attacking fast enough for this to work. Nice. Nice. Oh, tier 3. Increase health per second. I'm gonna take this. We need health regen right now. We don't have anything that heals us. I'm gonna play this guaranteed. So we have 4 cards in the deck. 2 cost, 2 cost, uh, 3 cost, 2 cost, and 1 cost. So if I play this, get a, get draw a card, it's either going to cost the same, or it's 50-50 it's on which of these two is gonna hit. If it's gonna be the more or not. Uh, but I want the attack speed guaranteed. So I would say we play attack speed and tower. Attack speed and tower. And lock down the free card. I might as well play this attack speed too. And uh, lock down this card. I could have banished that rock for 5 coins. We're not really banishing things though. Da -da -da -da. Okay, we're slowly actually coming back to this. Slowly coming back to this. The next turn I'm most likely gonna play the HP region. So we can also start healing up. Here is the deck. I would say HP region, and let's leave that blocked. I'm gonna say HP region, combine those, and play another pike, and uh, I would say, because this, I want to keep this in, de in the deck, and we have some green cards. Wow, these are the only green cards? Rocks aren't coming anyway. I would say we keep this locked, so that I can combine them. So that I can combine some blues. Nice. So theoretically, yeah, we're actually healing in a this is actually a decent rate of healing, to be honest. I'm healing one per second almost. If not, once in a while I'm healing a bit more. Like 8, 9, 10. I saw previously I skipped the number, that's why. Uh, do I want to combine this with this? I don't think so. I would like to play these two, to be honest. But towers, we, we guaranteed need to play towers. So this tower is getting played. And then I would say guaranteed damage. So damage is getting played. In health region, I would actually combine it with this. So, uh, this is trash. I'm gonna just put it there and leave it there with a bug. We're gonna banish this one, though. I cannot banish. Ah, because something's up there. Well. Well, 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 well. Yeah, I'm gonna guarantee banish that. So, let's banish this. For the money. I prefer the money. And I'm gonna lock this. So, we maybe combine it with the incoming extra poke. The AoE can stay. Let's go. The idea with this character is that you level up easily because you can keep the things going and rolling through the levels, right? That's the idea. I'm thinking here if I could have... If I can increase my casting speed, this AoE gravitation pull is going to be really good for us. Like, imagine having the, a bunch of gravitational wall all over the place. Build three cards, always middle ones. Could have gone the left up oh, at tier 4. I definitely want this. And uh, the other two don't really matter. I'm not going to play them regardless. They're gonna go into the deck. So if I pull any tier 4 here, tower damage guaranteed. I don't need more damage right now. Towers right now. I want attack speed. Tower attack speed. This is going good, by the way. AoE is actually working. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the most busted run in the game, just to be clear. Let's combine the poke here. I'm not on holy build. 
Judgment. Uh, judgment Tower that deals unholy damage. Well, unholy and hellfire. And this is literally actually what I'm playing. What am I even thinking about? This is what I'm playing. We found the legendary version of what I'm already playing. Let's combine here. And let's play this one too. Just like that, I have three legendaries right now. I should have played the tier 2 maybe. I don't think I played this correctly. Do I have another tier 2 in the deck? Yes, I do. Here it is. So if I maintain this from round to round, theoretically I will be able to get two of them into blue. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to do this. It's going to slowly happen. Mind these. Sin Spotter. Heal right now. Forker. All of these are useless. Uh, can I rotate through these in a timely manner? I don't think so. I guess Hellfire Damage we go. I have fire damage we go. And I'm gonna leave that there. Let's go. I'm gonna abuse this bug now that I know about it. Forever. Some of my explosions do a thousand. And here we are at Greed. Greed is the stage that you die most of the time. So, it, I mean, if you have a weak build, Greed is where you understand if it's a weak build. And then if you survive from Greed, then most of the time you actually survive the game. So this is like the litmus test, so to speak. Let's send them. Send this in spotter. I mean, I have another sin spotter here. Let's see what we get. We found Dark Matter the healing. Increased tower damage by 30, decreased Gerson by 20, but this is I play it and it gets removed. I'm gonna obviously get the spell. So we play the spell right now, and now we will have a bit more healing. This spell here is that it marks its own, and then if opponents... Like, can I use this by hand? Or you just press it and it happens on its own. Nah, whatever. So uh, this here is that it marks its own, and then when opponents step into it, they get cursed, and when I kill them, I actually heal. That's it. I would say we go attack speed. I would say we go attack speed. I could also actually get 5 coins. You know what? Let's go with 5 coins for get the attack speed. 1% attack speed is a joke. And we're going to obviously lock the tier 4 here. So I maybe get a tier 5. You should always lock something. Yeah, but I will be going for 5 coins. From here on out, every single stun is going to be 5 coins. When I have one last coin, uh, one last stone in my hand, I'm going to throw it out for 5 coins. Wait, we, we do have this, right? Yeah, we do have this every time a card is banished. I'm getting hit a bit. Uh, I would say we draw cards or combine. Do I have another tier 4 in the deck? Not here. Neither there. Card draw is important. I'll bring this out for a moment. Let's see what we can get. Attack speed. Uh, I have some greens. I want these to combine though. If I draw two rocks, then I can actually go on. Let's see if I can draw two rocks. No, but I did draw AoE. So let's combine AoE with attack speed. I want to keep these. Check. Unholy build again. Not really. All of these are useless. All of these are useless. I would say we go with the Hellfire damage. And then I'm going to say we lock these two down. So I level them up later. I don't have any tier 4 here. So this is going to just loop through the deck for a couple of moments. And let's go on. We need attack speed, man. Da -da -da -da. But we're surviving. We're surviving. We are killing anything that we're hitting. My main issue here is not actually hitting. Like everything that gets attack explodes... But not everything gets attacked. That's the issue. <laughs> we don't have enough attack speed. Oh no. Okay, tier 4, obviously. Just take it. I don't need to look at the rest. Periodically pushes enemies away. 50% damage. The rocks that are gonna get combined. And we actually found the dark pike. So combine these. Force the dark pike. Deal 200 damage to all enemies and drop 2 coins for each killing blow. This would be an awesome build. There is a money character, by the way, which I'm most likely gonna play tomorrow. So tomorrow I might play the money build. Let's take the Dark Pike, the thing we're using. I'm gonna guarantee play this. I don't even need to think about it. Hellfire damage. Why not? I would say we combine these to go for a tier 3. Although the 30% damage is good. And we got another Hellfire. we 40% or range. Mm, 40%. 40. I'm gonna go with a 40% AoE. I never had this much. And we're gonna lock one card down. I'm gonna play that 40% AoE every turn. We're gonna have the biggest explosion in the city here. Yeah, we're gonna go for this explosion build. It, it's happening, man. It's happening. I just need to survive greed. If I survive greed and I play this AoE 40% three or four more times, I just need one good 30% attack speed uh, thing. I already have some attack speed in the deck. This is useless. And this is this is the thing I'm gonna be playing. Um, well, 15% attack speed here. So we're gonna go AoE, attack speed, and we're gonna lock the tier four in. And the rock is going to get played pretty much forcefully this time. Let's go. Ooh, the AoE is becoming bigger and bigger. I love it. I love it. Now we obviously also need range. So that the AoE is like... I love it. 
I love it. 1,600 damage. We're really good here. We are really good. We're back in the game. Okay, so this is tier 4. I found it. Let's send it. Come on, give me something good. Useless, all of them. No! Four star that have high knockback and low hold. We had that yesterday. Judgment tower that deals on holy damage. No, pushing hold. No, no, no. Well, tier fours don't really combine. So this is, I just threw away uh, items. But it's okay, we can't do anything about it. Cooldowns, that's nice. Yeah, this is getting banished. I'm not gonna play this. A judgment tower on holy and whatnot. If you want to see this tower played at some point, maybe. This is five coins. I'm sorry. Cannot combine higher tiers. This is also five coins. How much XP? We were gonna play this, so might as well combine these two and see what we get. Hold on, I do enjoy this very much. So let's play this. 30% damage. Should I, play the, should I play that or the cooldown? Nah, definitely play this. Why cooldown? Or the slowing down and whatnot? Nah, who cares? So luck, so unlucky with the tier five there. By the way, they aren't only towers in tier 5, and I was hoping to get a non-tower. There is a thing that says, for example, healing is increased by 100%, that's nice. There are some things that are useful. And we just beat the wave, and we are in the shopping phase. I don't want any of these, to be honest. So let's roll them for 50. Yeah, I don't want any of those. Give something good. Oh, the boss tower in the game! Oh man, Hellfire, could have been this. We could have had this, this for example, fit in the deck. Once again, don't care. Last reroll here. I'm gonna keep the money for this next shop if we don't get anything important here. Mm, we didn't get anything. Let's continue. I'm gonna keep them. Attack speed, let's go. 40% attack speed on my towers. That's actually really free. Free 40% attack speed. Nice. And now we're actually a thing. Another 15 here. Let's combine some rocks. Here we go. Shielding. I want that. Let's play the shielding. Boom. Now we also are gonna start gaining shielding. Uh, Hellfire, that's money. I could combine these two, but... I do have... I don't have enough XP to play them both, so why am I going to combine them? Nice! 20% tax with tier 2. I see the AoE. This is also good. These are both good. Do I want huge AoE or crazy attack speed? I think huge AoE. I want the meme. The meme it is. The meme it is. And rocks, we're going to every time send them out for... Oh, yes. AoE... We're getting damaged by rushers. We're getting damaged by rushers. Do, 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 do. Oh yes, this is gonna be the most AOE ever AOE'd. I love the idea. I love the idea. Okay, you guys are gone. Upgrade them. Useless. I should have gone for the money. What What was I thinking? Eh, AOE. And because I want to banish this for money, I'm gonna say we lock this down. I could have played the banishes gives you money if I had got the banishes give you money. What was I thinking, man? I could have gained 10 coins per banish. I want to play the shop character tomorrow. He's awesome. I think. I hope. We're gonna play shop character tomorrow. Be prepared. Okay, guaranteed this. I don't even need to think about this. We just got 3% hellfire damage for free out of the game. I'm telling you, luck works. Uh, definitely combine the rocks. It really doesn't matter because we're gonna combine that into this. 50% damage. 50% attack speed, actually. Huh. 50% attack speed. We already have damage versions. So I'm gonna play these two, I would say. Yeah. 50% damage. 50% attack speed. I'm already... Okay, we're doing 2,000 damage. A bunch of opponents. Nope, you're not gonna be able to do anything. But now we need range. Uh, straight up, we need range, and that's a hundred percent true. Because fact of the matter is, we don't need more than two thousand damage. We already attack fast enough. We are super duper heavy in AOE. We need range. None of these is range. Well, you're gonna get banished. You're getting played, and you're getting locked. Let's go on. So yeah, AOE, not AOE, range. We got. We need to tank there now. Now that I have healing. And um, shielding, I'm safe. I feel safe. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm still missing a dark pike, but who cares? I'm going very well here. Uh, this comes back. These go in. Uh, irrelevant because we're gonna combine. Healing, I guess. Forced. Read rather can't. Not really. Let's go with healing. And here I'm gonna obviously go with, first of all, draw cards. 
because we might draw what? I guess this. If I draw this, I'm gonna lock it. So we play this. Well, we play this. The AoE for the meme. And I either lock two things or I play. I can combine these two. Hoping for range. No, we got a tower. And none of them is the one I'm using. I can get this, as this is a Hellfire tower that really fits. This doesn't have to get benefit from anything, though. Let's play the Hellfire. Let's keep that there. Now I'm doing 2,400 damage. Yeah, nothing's really gonna survive. I just need range. I just need range. That's it. Tower range. So that it's gonna cover the whole screen. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, if I'm here, it still covers the whole screen. <laughs> it also covers the whole screen. Real three cards, middle always. Nice, that was a good choice. Uh, we're gonna keep the three cost, and I guess whatever. Not the thing that destroys all the towers if I play it by mistake, we lose the game. Although I haven't played a single card by mistake. Healing! Or a tower. I'm gonna go healing. We have some issues. This is crazy healing, by the way. Now, now we no longer have healing issues. 2.5 HP regen per second. I got this. Send this away. Combine those. Attack speed. Uh, tier 3. Well, we're gonna play this. The AoE. We're gonna play the attack speed. Obviously. We're gonna keep the tier 4 to combine it with something. Is there another tier 4 in the deck that I don't want? Not really. I want... I, I don't really care about 2 Hellfire damages. I'm already overstacked at Hellfire damage. Tier 3 is also not really in the deck though. I guess I can play this, so let's lock this down. Like, when I beat this wave, I'm gonna almost guaranteed get another tower slot. So I might play that. The only thing I'm missing right now is Hellfire damage. Like, that's it. I got the attack speed, I got the damage, I got the HP regen, I got the luck. The only thing, the only relic that exists that now makes sense is Hellfire damage. There is no other relic that exists. Combine the rocks. Mm, obviously get this. Have I not auto-cast the shielding? I'm just losing the shielding. I can play this to draw two cards. I'm gonna play that to draw two cards. Okay, well, that was a bit unlucky, because now I have a one, <laughs> one, two, three, and two fours, but like, the fours guaranteed are not gonna get combined. So we play the AoE, because the meme goes on. We play... This guarantees banish. And I would say... I don't care about damage, I care about evolving, so let's try to evolve. I don't care about the self fire damage right now. AoE goes on, AoE goes on. Range, 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 range is the only thing we need. And the re it's actually true that the range is the only thing we need, because if these explosions hit like the whole line, we're not gonna get hit anymore. Okay, you with you. Give me range. Boom. Nope. Increase garrison damage. Useless. AoE. And tier threes. You with you. We have better AoE here. Actually, let's first draw cards. Okay. This is just straight up money. Are we getting money? Yeah, we are getting money. Uh, three and three. Please give me range. Nope. All future banish effects are turned extra time. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Gravity tower. Nah. Here we go. Tier 4. I guess we're gonna combine this with this. Hoping for a tier 5 tower. <sighs> Monkey brain. Discard your hand. Increase tower and garrison damage by a bunch of damage. Honestly, I don't want any of these. I guess I'm gonna take monkey brain. And we're gonna play both of these. Health for damage and AoE. Pass. Now I can play monkey brain, to be honest. If the next hand I get is trash, I can play monkey brain. Although I, I, I'm most likely gonna banish it. The difference with ranges, by the way, that if I have range, it's gonna hit the whole screen on for free. Tier 4, 40% AoE continues. We're getting all the AoE. We're getting all the AoE, let's go! Draw cards. Okay, first of all, Monkey Brain is never gonna get played. Banish it for coins. Send those off. Range, let's go! I'm gonna even play the 10%. More range, please. No, attack speed. I'm gonna banish this. I'm gonna keep the range forever in the deck. And AoE. And you get locked. Let's go. <laughs> 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 I 
Hey, look, it's an elite. It's 2,000 damage. I'm doing 2,000 and 1,000. Love it. Love it. Exploding everything. Exploding everything. And good thing we have attack speed, too. Here we go. Range, range. <laughs> we, we. Uh, look at this. Hellfire, Hellfire. Here we, here we. Awesome. Well, if that's the case, we're gonna go AoE. AoE. Lock one of these down. Just to have more cards. And pass. Love it. Love it. How does this look in slow motion? Okay, go on. <laughs> what a good run. What a good run. I, I begun with being sad. I'm now I'm actually having fun. <laughs> more AOE. Let's go. I draw cards. Oh, we found the range though. I'm not going to throw the range away. I'm going to try to find more range. Nope. Uh, we're going to now combine these two. Range? No. Cooldowns. Nah. Attack speed. Uh, range is guaranteed getting played. I mean, these three. Yeah, look at this. God hand. Boom, boom, boom. Pass. The range is slowly helping out, by the way. Do I get more crosses when I get range? What are you doing, tower? What are you doing, tower? What's happening? What is this wave? I don't understand this wave here at the end, which just... It's done. Boom. Oh, nice. From one mana, go to three. I mean, these two, obviously. There is no thought about that. Tier four. Ah, maybe the tier four is useless. Unholy damn. Nope. We are Hellfire, so we're gonna go extra slot. And now we need to get another Dark Pike. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, combine those two. Let's throw this out. Let's see what we find. Card draw, very nice. Uh, first of all, do this card draw. We've got the mana. Nice. And more card draw. Range is here. Are you serious right now? I cannot combine anything. Tier 4 with tier 4. I mean, let's combine these tier 4s. I'm not using Hellfire damage. I can, but I already have this like one more time in the deck. I don't need it. Great. 5% of Hellfire damage dealt is converted to Tower Health. Tower Health is my health. Well, I don't want these. I see the Hellfire thing, but I don't want this. I want to keep my deck as it is. We're gonna go here and we're gonna play this. Do I not have Hellfire? Wait. Do you mean that I just got 5% Hellfire lifesteal? We are death immune. Like, if, if that is what I just understood... Oh, I should have played this, by the way. And I could have maybe... Ah, eh, whatever. If that is what this means... Hellfire fl Healing Flame. Oh, yeah, man. It, it's over. 5% of Hellfire damage dealt is converted to Tower Health. We are literally death immune right now. Like, we do 2,000 damage. And 5% of 2,000 is like... 10. 10. No, it should be 100. I think it's 100. So, we're super duper immune to death. Let's go here. Uh, we found two. Yeah, we know exactly what we're going to play. Let's combine those two. Draw more cards. I mean, might as well have this. It's not playable. I'm going to leave it there. Draw more cards. And now glass cannon. Um... Do I want to combine them is the question. For a tier 3. First of all, these are getting played. This can stay there. I guess I can just pass. Or combine. You know what? Let's combine. Nice. Worth it. Worth it. I don't know why I didn't leave it up there. Let's go. We got 15 range. And that I'm going to play guaranteed. Let's go. We're getting range. Look at this. Da -da 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 -ba 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 I want one more tower so we have even more explosions. This is so fun to me. Uh, I love it. It's gonna we're gonna cover the whole screen, man. Explosions. Let's draw cards. Okay, useless. We're obviously gonna play the range. I have three mana. I'm gonna look at this, look at this. I have three mana, right? So I'm gonna play attack speed. Boom, go down to one. And now from one I go up to three. Boom. And now from three I can play this again. Yeah, we are range. Range, range is more important right now. Right, this specific, this is a very specific moment. Range is more important. Now let's go here and lock it. We're covering everything. Nothing can survive. Yo, if I make the AOE, literally hit the whole screen. Tier 4, and now tier 4. Draw 1. A grave tower probably pushing away enemies. I don't care about that. <clears throat> I don't care about any of these, to be honest. Let's take this. To continue combining tier 4s with each other. Like this one. 
Do I have other tier 4s? Nah, let's send the health pyro off. You go out. Send this off. Nice, all healing is increased. I saw the uh, thing, but I don't care about it. I would say, AoE. And all the healing is increased. And bunch the rock. And go on. Bop, 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 bop. So right now we're healing. This is all healing effects increase. So that means that I have a 10% healing from Hellfire damage. 10%. It's it's over. And the AoE is also very nice. Explosion. Come on, give me give me range. Tower range, tower range, please. No. I would like to combine these, but I don't think I should. So we're gonna play boom. Boom. Continue with getting range. Lock this down for the next time. Let's go. Continue gaining range. I want to cover the whole screen with explosions. Everything. Everything needs to get exploded. Everything explodes. Slow motion again. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. These pluses, minuses. The bugs. The bugs. How zoom in can I go? Look at our tower. Epilepsy warning. Let's go away. Look at how awesome this looks. Do these all explode at the same time? What is happening? The animations are very weird. Yep, the animations are very, very weird. Very weird. I don't know what's happening with my voice today. Draw more cards. Here we go. Tut -tut. Give me range. Nope. Also give me another tower, by the way. We need another tower pike. Give me another pike range. Useless. We have a tier 3. This definitely does not get thrown out. Okay, this stays there. So I'm gonna be like... Range. Here we... Give me mana, AoE, and this stays there. Pass. Da, 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 da. I had the mana to bring it down below anyway. <laughs> it's happening, man. We get global explosions. We get global explosions. Global explosions. Look at these explosions going back and forth and zigzag. By the way, there is a tier 5. The reason why I'm getting trying to get tier 5s, there is a tier 5. We're gonna guarantee go here. And I guess wherever else. There is a guarantee. There is a tier five that gives you more projectiles, health, fire damage, and now I have pretty much all the relics that are irrelevant to, uh, that are irrelevant to us. <laughs> this this map's gonna be a joke. In this map, opponents only appear from the four sides. <laughs> uh, fly, flying opponents also appear sometimes, but most of the time they appear from the four sides. Uh, do I want more attack speed? I don't think we want more attack speed, so I'm gonna combine these, hoping for a random range upgrade. Yolo. Oh, we got AoE again. So we're gonna obviously take the meme. And you're gonna banish this. And we're gonna go range, AoE, AoE. Because I want to cover the whole screen. 3000 damage. And in a moment... I mean, I think I already covered the whole screen. Uh, Range-wise talking. So I'm not gonna need that much more range. We're closing into range being irrelevant. Although, as I see here, we don't have the whole screen. Here too. Tier 3, I can't really do anything about this. Well, that's a bad uh, bad thing. You're gonna get locked here. You also, I would say, get locked. I don't want this actually to be played, it's useless. And we're gonna go with you, and I guess we go back to mana. <laughs> I should have combined the mana. No, no, actually, the mana thing, I've played it a bunch of times now. It is actually useful. I've played it two or three times. It does have its use. It's as if it's playing another card sometimes. Not this one, but sometimes. Come on, some 2 to cost and 3 costs. Oh, tier 5, holy wind. Nope. I go for tier 2s. I don't care, I want dark pikes. Dark pikes or bust. I don't care if we have a slot open. Nope, no, no, no. <laughs> Throw it, just drag does nothing. Throws it in. Let's go with draw 2 cards. Draw a card. Throw these out. Throw these in. See what we get. Attack speed. Cooldowns. Attack speed. Uh, honestly, as I said, we're closing into having global range, so I don't think range is needed anymore. But, 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 we're gonna play four curse and attack speed before we throw out something else. Dark Pike, here we go. Definitely play this. So, I'm gonna say we play one. We play two. And then we don't have mana. And I'm gonna say... Let's keep AoE. Actually, there is. We're gonna draw another AoE. Let's keep the two cost so we can combine it. I still not have the whole range, but it's happening slowly. But it's happening slowly. 
<laughs> Literally the easiest way with this tower. Man, you remember in the beginning when I was like, this is not the tower? Yeah, this is this is the tower. Tomorrow I'm gonna play the on Holy Love. Okay, draw cards. Nice, we got some green. Boom. Well, it doesn't matter what I'm gonna get here because this is gonna get combined with, I would say, the attack speed. Because I can play these three right now. Okay, we got mana, tower damage. That's actually good. Let's start going for tower damage slowly. And let's play one, two, three. Should have used the bug and keep it in here, but it is what it is. AoE is the only thing I really care about. Range, I just want it for memes. But AoE is what I care about. And I would say now we should also go attack speed, so we cover the whole screen. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Shop. Shop. Yes. Yes. Towers do an extra shot. You buy this, don't even think of it. And uh, I, this is a spell that heals you 10. Let's take that too. Can I get the time I'm already using? Reroll for 90. That's an expensive reroll. Dark Pike tier 5. Dark Pike tier 5. Luck is with us. 30% damage. Or range. Or range. Let's go for the range. Continue. These are useless. Extra slot. Nice. And I'm obviously going to throw the tier 5 right there. I'm not going to even think about it. We don't need to think about this. And here we are in the final wave. So, yeah, I'm just going to play everything as far as I'm seeing. The curse is useless. So I would say we play, we play, and then these two we keep. I know that we can combine them. But next turn I'm going to play this, this, this. Like the next turn we're going to most likely play a bunch of things. So I will need the mana. I don't want to combine these. In turn. I can combine them in the next turn anyway, like, right? So there is no reason to combine them right now and then what? Have a card and just leave it in the bugged area. Okay, as far as I'm seeing here, range is irrelevant now. Let's do this at slow motion. <laughs> uh, look at this madness. Look at this madness. I'm also doing these two. Here we go. This is guaranteed getting played. So I'm gonna say, we play the 5 cost, we play the 1 makes 3-3, three, three. we play the 1 cost, boom, now I got another spell, and AoE for the meme. And I should not have pulled that out of there, but it's okay. And turn. I am doing- I'm playing on slow mode because... Thumbnails, boys! This is most likely gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, where are the opponents all appearing from below? Let's play the game again faster. Or slower. Man, I want to have a good... This one. Most likely. <laughs> this is insane. We're gonna go more AoE. We're gonna go a lot more AoE. Wah! Look at this. <laughs> Everything is destroyed. Nothing can really do anything against us. Nothing is even visible on the map, man. Nothing is even visible. Hey, look, opponents are appearing and they're toast. Speed the game up. Let's actually just end it. Tier 5 dark. Wow. Wow. Enlighten them all. Unique. Half of all non-holy damage becomes holy. Now I lose the game. Dark Pike tier 5. Now we have two Dark Pikes tier 5. And they just appeared at the same time. So you're going to get banished. We're going to go boom, boom, and range. And range. And we pass. Now the explosions are crazy. Whoa. 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 Look at this madness. Look at this madness. Look at this madness. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's get more AoE. Let's speed this game up again. I want more AoE. Give me more AoE. We should have definitely went for Endless. I mean, all these runs are... We should have definitely went with Endless. So, it doesn't... It's, it's not really true. In that sense. Draw cards. I still have rocks. Uh, I don't think I need more range. To be honest. Upgrade. Well. Game... Game... Game told me to. Game told me to. Well, we're gonna definitely banish this for money. And boom, boom. And keep this for the next wave. In the same vein, I could have kept the rock for the next wave, but who cares? This is a good screenshot. <laughs> Look at this. Opponents are dying from the next wave before the wave even comes in because we have so much range in AoE. The explosions hit the backliner. <laughs> oh, I love it. What an awesome tower. What an awesome game. 
Let's continue exploding. Uh, by the way, I want to announce two things here for people that are closing into the end. First of all, I have merchandise. YouTube should have a link exactly below this, like exactly above or below the description where you can go to my merchandise. And the next thing I want to mention, which is a bit more important than merchandise, to be honest, Gravity Tower, let's go yes on this, is the fact that uh, this game right now is... Uh, what, uh, what is it called? It's <laughs> it just came out, first of all, and secondly... Go one, two, three, four, and lock this. What did I want to say? One was the merch. One was the merch. And the other thing... I cannot remember what the other thing is. Oh, yeah, we have a giveaway in the Discord. You can get 10 keys of this. I'm giving away 10 keys, so you might get it for free. Otherwise, you can get it in general. Let's go destroying everything. Whoa, explosions. You know what? I'm going to play at times one for the rest of the game, just because I want to see some boomies going off. I want the cleanliness of the game. Tier 4, another tier 4. Do I need more range? Not really. I mean, yeah, we don't need more range, straight up. I don't know why I say not really. Straight up, we don't need more range. <laughs> Help our damage heals you. With 10%. Let's go. I don't need more range. Let's take the builder. Let's banish the rock. Let's take the builder. Pop, 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 pop. Explosions, explosions, explosions. I don't know if anybody would normally play this game at times one speed. I'm, I'm not sure. I think the game is made to be played at times two speed. And the times one option is just so that the animations look clean. Because the times two option feels really weird-ish, so to speak. But I guess that's the idea of the speeds here. How can the game last survival timer? Ah, because I'm playing at times two speed. I was about to say, how can the game timer be 56 seconds or minutes while my in game, my real life is 51? That doesn't make sense. But it actually makes sense. So, um, yeah. Let's speed up. Let's speed up. There is no reason to try to slow play this for no reason. Let's go. Okay. I mean, you know it. AoE. AoE. Banish the rock. Am I still getting money? Yeah, I am. And just keep both. Oh, no, I don't need to keep both of them. Give me three mana and play this. Nice. Sinners punished. Sinners punished. I think the game always ends you about the same sinners. Like 9,000 something something is the number most of the time. This is the final wave. So uh, we are about to end this. About to end this game's whole career. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I'm evil. I should make an even deeper voice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I think that's my best one. My best uh, voice on that matter. <laughs> the biggest AoE explosion of all time. 31 times AoE. <laughs> wow. Wow, just wow. I love this tower. I should have tried more AoE builds with other towers too. Because now that I'm seeing the madness of the explosion tower AoE, I can just imagine how crazy yesterday's run with AoE would have been. Because yesterday, I mean the day before yesterday, I guess. Before, Because that was also... A, <laughs> you can't even see the game, man. You can't even see the game. I want to see what the thumbnail guy is going to even get out of this. <laughs> I'm getting money. Why? The game's over. I'm exploding the map because it's madness. And if I'm here, you can't even see anything. Maybe super zoomed out. And the end is nigh. And that should be it. About... Yeah, exactly 9,000 something. Not exactly, about 9,000 something. Almost the same. 9,176. Was that the same yesterday? Comment down below and tell me about it. And let's see, 918 coins. Very nice. We're going to unlock a couple of cards and then that's going to be it. That's nice, nice, nice. There is also, uh, by the way, there is also a friend fight, right? You can especially end this. Spend 2,000 coins in shop. Every time, everything in the next shop will be free. What? Okay, okay, okay. Two things. First of all, uh, there is Endless where you can gain a high score and fight against your friends. Secondly, somebody commented and said that I have some kind of unique version. By the way, these all can get moved around. Although it looks like neat and whatnot, but you can literally move everything around, which is how awesome is this? How awesome is that you can have the start button here, like the rewards here and the rest. Something like, like the emails up here and the files. And I, I love this so much. 
that you can do all this. This is obviously some kind of Easter egg. There are in general Easter eggs, eyes that you can find around or in the files you can see some weird stuff. This might sound crazy, but I think that's me. They made forget who I was. They reduced my whole identity down to fuck... Oh, I should not have said that. This is me. I mean, this is the real me. Ooh. Look at this. Dear management. You can read this if you want to. There is a lot. There are a lot of weird stuffs going on. Welcome to sounds. What? Oh, whoop, whoop. Nice. Chill music. Creepy. Creepiness. Super creepy stuff. Super creepy stuff. Super creepy stuff. Email. This might sound crazy. Yeah, I, I read this just now. Box. You're... Ooh, super creepy. Okay, I'm getting actually creeped out right now. Okay, this is the classic game where you bring the box in the corner and... What? Maybe I have to wait for it to come to us. Wah! Am I supposed to touch it? Catch it? I'm trying to, but... Maybe in this corner. Maybe in this top corner. Maybe I shouldn't even try. Wah! Wah! Got it! You check the box. Oh, I thought it was impossible. Well, and then email. Wait, is this a different email than this one? Yeah, this is a different one. Can I rearrange these? Oh, I can rearrange everything. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's nothing important, but still, the fact that that is a thing. And somebody said that. Also, these two keys here is the two wins I got. So from tomorrow, we will start gathering keys again. And uh, somebody told me that there is maybe this was a super unique Sift version of this game or something. No, I, I just did this on my own. Oh, this my, my previous version was so much better. I'm gonna have a super ugly version, but it's okay. It is what it is. It's like this. And I... You see, I like it. Uh, although this one is supposed to be an X. I hate it. I can't even... I'm gonna make a better one tomorrow. Rewards. Let's go unlock some things, and then that's going to be it. Actually, I want to buy characters, but Primal Fury, for cost. Increase garrison unit damage by 10% for every other card used this round before this one. Before this one. By the way, devs, you should put here how much the card costs, because you only learn in the game how much these cost. <laughs> so what else? Boom. By the way, I really enjoy that we're getting unique stuff, right? That's the awesome part, that we're not getting just the same and the same. The next time your tower takes damage, deal 50 unholy damage to nearby enemies. Ah, mediocre at best. Puncture. Tower projectiles pierce, pierce an extra enemy. That's actually really good. Piercing. So I didn't have piercing this whole time and now I got one. Butcher Sins. When you see this loop-de-loop, -loop, it means it's a spell that goes to the top and then you activate it. Set all existing enemies HP to 1. Okay. That sounds like an awesome thing. Targeted summon. 3. Creates a squad of shooters at the target location. Units do unholy damage. Oh, that's another spell, by the way. We're getting a bunch of spells right now. Dark marker, marker, new new one, tower, yeah, tower. Constructs an additional dark marker tower. It deals low damage, but it also applies a curse to enemies. Constructs an additional dark marker tower. What does that even mean? A spammer. Every time you play four cards in a single turn, deal 20 normal damage to all enemies. Nice. Unlocking things, I'm gonna stop at 500. Monkey's finger. Uh, destroy the next card in your deck, increase tower and garrison damage by 20. This is a tier 2, so this is a sizable boost for a risky maneuver. And uh, yeah, what do you want to see tomorrow? Do you want to see we have one reroll per turn? Do you want to see we play with rocks? Or do you want to see we play with shops? I'm gonna play the shops, by the way, but I want to see what you want so that I use it for the next one after that, right? So the third video is gonna be the shop guy because he's the most unique one between these and then we're gonna see for the rest anyway that's going to be it for today hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around